Hello, in this A-Frame Web VR tutorial, we are going to look at drawing a box. No textures, nothing like that, just keeping it simple, just drawing a box with some color, with some basic properties such as its size. We'll be covering such, I mean, stuff like textures in a separate video. So, how do you draw a box? Very simple, there's a built-in tag for it. So you just do A-Box. Now let's just close it. You don't put any text in between the box, but it's not a void element either. And now you just apply a color. So let's apply a color of hash. I already worked this out earlier on. It looked pretty nice. 0, 3, A9, F4. But you can put whatever you want there. And you, you can put like the word red as well, as long as the color really, as long as the color works in something like a background dash color CSS property, it should work in here as well. Uh, now apply a width. I'm going to apply a width of two, a height of one, and a depth of one as well. Save that and now go to my web browser, refresh this. Now as you can see, we have a box that's popped up. In the first tutorial, in the setting up video, it may have not been evident how to actually look around, move your camera around. On a mobile device, you would use the built-in sensors such as a gyroscope to be able to look around. But on PC, luckily, you can look around by clicking and dragging. So this is a great way of just checking out your scene without having to always load it on a mobile device so this is the way you would look around and as you can see we've got the device i mean the object right here you might be thinking what the hell is happening it's stretching when i'm well sort of rotating the camera and the scene so the object is at the edge and that's well the way the human eye works as well so don't worry there's nothing wrong with it if you do have access to a mobile device, which I do recommend, it looks fantastic on a mobile device. Even something as simple as this, whacking in a phone into something like Google Cardboard, it just looks amazing. It's just, it's, it, it's on a whole nother level. And when you actually start getting onto stuff like videos and images, stuff that we're going to be covering in this series, it just looks absolutely amazing. So that's it for creating a, well, a box. They are actually, before I end the video, let me show you some other primitives that you can use. So if you go to docs, scroll down, where am I, where am I? See, I use the box. You can use a cone, for example. Uh, if you ignore the texture aspect and just use the color one, because we're covering textures in a separate video. And there are other cylinders, there's rings, there's spheres, toruses. So check them out. The principle is essentially the same as a box. So I won't be actually creating separate videos for it. Once you know how to create a box, you should really know how to create a torus, for example. Just go on there. You should be able to even copy and paste some code. So yeah, that's it for drawing a box. Or more broadly, how to draw primitives in A-Frame. In the next video, well, you'll have to stay tuned to see what we're going to cover in that one. If you require the source code or just want to have a look at it, feel free. There will be a link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from every other video in this series. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description to that as well. Also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment because it really does help us. But alternatively, if you didn't like the video for whatever reason, please leave us a comment as well so we can improve it for the next time. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.